you guys we are going to make the cutest little cup so look at this is that adorable ah oh, you're not gonna believe it's all Dollar Tree stuff and Stampin Up stuff Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and it's time for another free tutorial Friday. I'm going to mix this up with a little Dollar Tree DIY as well. So I think we're going to have fun and we are going to make that. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a piece of Whisper White here, just a scrap piece. And then I have our warm hugs and I'm going to be using the Christmas tree. We've got the two-step stamping. We've got outline and we've got the inside. You can also do the mug if you'd like. There's a heart, some candy canes, a star, whatever you choose. But we're gonna be doing the little tree. And that way I could do it in green and it kind of looks like, you know, you know who, right? The big coffee company. So I thought we would do that. I'm going to start with those little trees here. We've got both. And then I wanted them to be two different colors. So I've got a garden green. And then I've got the shaded spruce. And again, I will have this all done up for you in a tutorial. So you just need to go into the blog, beautyandthestamper.com. How many times can I say that during the video? And then I will, um, you'll be able to print that out. This is so I could see, because. You guys, I had my 50th birthday the other day, and all of a sudden now I need to wear these guys, so. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this. We're just gonna, uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with this one first. I seem to work better this way. So we're gonna start with the outline first, and then we're gonna go in with this. So uh, hopefully you don't see my head. We're gonna line that up. Did I get that on there? Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, if you have the dies, you're gonna to wanna to use a die. If you have one of the old uh, circle punches, then use the circle punch. With the circle punch, you can make so many so quickly. We're gonna go ahead and grab a little circle punch that I just happen to have. Um, otherwise, I would be using my uh, die, so. I'm gonna punch that out. I'm gonna just center it up a little bit and punch that right out. And then I was gonna get my little soft suede here. We're gonna color that guy, just like that. We're gonna let him dry for just a bit while I show you, because you guys, that's, that's really the stamping portion. Now we're gonna get into the DIY portion. Um, Let's see. Oh no, I do have a little bit more stamping. I'm gonna grab my little box of stuff. Look at all of this I have in here. Now I was gonna use this. This is what I went to the Dollar Tree for. If you guys saw my haul, this was it. And now I'm not even gonna use it. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the um, some caulk here. I have some straws. All of this can be purchased at the Dollar Tree. Or or you might have things to use. I'm gonna grab a couple of these little guys. I thought I had a hole in here, I do. A couple of these little gems, but again, you can use rocks or marbles. We're just wanting something with weight. The little um, floral foam balls here. And I'm gonna grab one of those. And then these little mini um, they look like the red solo cups. They're just mini shot glasses. So I'm going to grab one of those and put all the extras away. And well, let me see here. I know that I cut these already, but what did I do with them? Oh, here we go. So you're just going to take one of these straws here, right? Just take a straw. And just cut a piece that's it 
all we did was cut those and you're going to have a nice piece like this and then take that and stick that in your little guy like that right so we've got that we've got our hole there we've got our caulk we've got this guy now before let's go ahead and do our stamping finish that off i'm going to show you oh yes we're also going to be using some cord ribbon from the wonder of the season that's going to give us our um, place to hang this right so our little hanger we've used this just cleaning up as i go along so that's the best way so you don't lose everything like i usually do okay i've got my sequins for everything they come in a pack of four different colors i chose the green and then i'm going to get out my mini glue dots as well so we get that out we're going to go right here to our first dot now i've already done a whole bunch so that we could go ahead and use these but we're just going to grab one of these with our take your pick tool and we're going to put it right on the glue dot and center it right up just like that so as you can see i've already done a whole bunch of them okay so now i can put those away and we're going to decorate our cup now you can decorate your cup afterwards, after it's all complete, but I'm going to just go ahead and do it right away. So that way I could show you the stamping portion. I'm going to take my bone folder and I know that we want to have a little bit of a cup um, tilt or edge or curvature, whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to take that and curve it like this. Okay. So you're going to get that, take your stamp and seal plus, I chose the plus because it's going to um, hold really well. So I also have the silicone mat on here in case I go over because I definitely want that to go all the way to the edge. And that way if it gets over, it comes right off. So you see I have all this little extra that came off just going to fold that back on itself just like that so all right let me show you there we go a little closer i have ink all over my fingers so we're going to take this guy and we are oh a little piece got a little crazy there i want these to be all the way in because i don't want sticky everywhere and then we're just going to put that on our cup you see there now you have these great cups you can even use these to decorate like you can put little treats on there for a party or something like that it would be really nice so we've got the cup we've got that that there but you know sometimes during Christmas those uh, coffee places they decorate their cups all nice so let me go ahead and grab my tool because that always works better So you can decorate these up. I mean, this would be a great little um, to do with like your grandkids or children. And I don't know, I love just to make ornaments. There's something, there's a little hair stuck. <laughs> these glue dots will work really well. Okay, we're just gonna stick them. Okay, there we go. Again, just here, there, and everywhere. Whatever you'd like. You don't have to put a pattern. Oh, that didn't work well. Perfect. <laughs> and then again, I know where to stop because I had that guy there. So I still have a couple more that I could put around, but I think we're going to just kind of be done there. And look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? All right. Now it's time to move on. 
And what's great about this is you can do it in advance. So if you're a demonstrator and you're having classes or something like that, you can have these already done and ready to go. So, you know, our, our demonstrator team, we are so like, yes, copy what I do, share what I do. So we, we like to copy and share everything is what we call it. We have an acronym. We call it casing. So feel free to case this. This would make cute little gifts, right? All right. Now you want to get to the fun part. So I wanted to share with you if you have purchased over the past couple days, Wednesday and Thursday, Stampin' Up! did a great online merry and bright extravaganza where you save 10 percent i wanted to keep that going for the next seven days so today is day one and today we're going to do a new host code it's the sell abrasion host code because this week i'd like to sell to you and i've got some great um little gifts and stuff so for day one, any order at all, if you purchase from Beauty and the Stamper, if you purchase from my um, online Stampin' Up, which is jeanpersani.stampinup.net, you're going to get a free set, a half dozen of cards that were made by, um, with Stampin' Up Stamp. So you, you've seen this. It, well, you may not have seen this when this was done for our online class but I go ahead and there's just a whole bunch of different cards that these aren't the ones you'll, you'll be getting. You'll be getting different. See all those cards back there? Woohoo! I have tons and I've made so many cards over the, um, you may have seen that one live, but uh, I've made so many cards over the course of my stampin' career and look at how cute that one is but so many, these are just the ones I happen to have on my desk, but those are six cards. So you'll get six different cards like this and just any purchase. So that's a great deal. Normally I charge uh, $12 for eight cards in my grab bag. So that's on my sale, but you can purchase anything. You get your gifts and you get your stamp stuff. So. <laughs> I thought that'd be fun. But here's the host code, GDU7. And then look, it spells out BATS, B-A-T-Z. So beauty and the damper. <laughs> All right, go ahead, grab that screenshot if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started. So you take your caulk. Again, this is only a dollar. You can make so, so many, especially using um, some filler like this. So I'm gonna take a little bit of caulk and I'm gonna put it right on the bottom. It doesn't have to be a lot. You can use glue if you'd like. And I'm gonna take this and just throw it in there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more caulk. And this is only so it doesn't like move around. Throw that in there as well. Right? And then we're gonna take this and go, I always try and find the best part of the, um, what's that called? The, the uh, stem, but I mean, it's always best to work with the, um, the end piece that's already there. But if you don't, just take some sandpaper or a nail file and file off any of the parts that you really don't want. Now, if this was sandpaper, I would just hold it down and rub it real quick, but it's not, so we're gonna do this. And nobody's looking at this close enough to be like, hey, that is off, right? Nobody cares. But as crafters, I know we like to make it as nice as possible there okay i'm going to take a little bit of the caulk there 
We're just using this as glue. I'm gonna stick that in there. Now I'm gonna take some more of this caulk, put it in there. It doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to stick it down. And we're gonna stick that on there. We're gonna put this kind of where we want it. And I'm gonna push this down a little bit more. The straw is a little too big, but that is perfect. So I'm lining it up like this. I have the straw coming out like that. I'm gonna end up putting the um, other part in there as well. So now I just kinda go along the sides and put that in there. And we're basically just putting, oh, you don't want that caulk to be like that. We're gonna clean that part up. We're just filling these holes and it's gonna make it come up a little bit <laughs> you guys get to see my face it's so funny I haven't done moving into this new format I know you guys like it you've told me so I'm happy about that but then you get to see all the funny faces that I make when I'm concentrating sorry that you couldn't see that so we're just putting a whole bunch in here and really lining it up there now can you see why I kind of wanted the um, the uh, baker's bag? I thought it would be easier, but really this works. You just need to move it around. You don't want it. You don't want to see all of the um, you know the lines there. like that, like that line there. You don't want, you don't want that, but you do want to make it look like it's some nice cream or foam on there. And then what I do is when I get it about all the way I like, I kind of swirl it around like this. Sorry. And then come up and give it that little bit of, see that little peak there and then that's it we're gonna put this back away and I still have a ton in there so now we've got all that done we're gonna take this and we're just gonna tie a knot so I'm gonna just tie a simple knot but I'm gonna put that knot down toward the bottom all the way as low as it'll go. There we go. So we tied that nice and tight. And then we're gonna go to where we're gonna stick that in. And that's all we do is we just stick it in there. I'm going to get a little, oh, I'm using my take your pick tool. I'm going to have to clean that guy up for sure. Guess what? We're gonna clean all of our mess off. And clean any of that straw off, if you can. It's already started to harden. So you can just kind of move it off like that. This stuff dries very quickly the top will be dry within about two hours or so. At that point, I would still have it sitting. 
moving that straw. I'm gonna put a little bit more around the outside here. To really get this guy in there. And then fill in around here where I've been playing with it. So cute. This is adorable. And then after that's all done with, what you could do is um, if you wanted to have like chocolate on there or anything for it to look like chocolate, just put a little bit of um, like some brown um, acrylic paint, just a little bit. It can be really thin and pouring acrylic paint would be really nice. So there we go, you guys, that's all done. Can you believe how cute that is? So it's a Dollar Tree DIY Stampin' Up style. I hope you like it. Again, you can put some little glitters on here. You can put some little red, um, red one of these on there to make it look just like little sprinkles on top. I hope you like it. I think it's adorable. Here's the original and you can see, I mean, there's nothing happening there. We're good to go. So. All right, beauties, I hope you like this. I certainly do. And I will talk to you later. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.